it is such a beautiful thing when we get good news it just feels different because we so used to this year hearing so much bad stuff now we have had some good stuff sprinkled in there now but the bad news has outweighed the good news by far as far as injuries and stuff but the record the record outweighs everything um and, and shout out to the ravens for despite all these injuries they still five and one now they got a long way to go but it's a beautiful thing that we can actually say that so a person that so many people have been asking about day in day out night in night out nick boyle the ravens tight end he has been activated from injured reserve they designated uh, nick boyle to return so he can practice today so just to clear it up because it is very confusing he is off of injured reserve so he's not on injured reserve but he is not on the active roster so it doesn't mean that he's gonna play this sunday against the Bengals. so since he's been activated today wednesday october october 20th he has 21 days from today to be placed on the active roster. Now, we've been hearing that uh, the plan is to have him back after the bye. That could make sense because I don't see them rushing him back, even though I don't really feel like it would be rushing him. But I don't, see, I don't see them rushing him back for this Bengals game. If it happens, okay, cool, but I wouldn't count on it. So, again, he is not on the active roster. He is just designated to return from injury reserve. So he's off of injury reserve so he can practice. But another thing, too, his uh, status, when the, the practice report comes out, he doesn't have to be on there because he's not on the active roster. So just keep that in mind moving forward. But it is a beautiful thing that Nick Boyle is on his way, officially on his way back to the team. Because he was back earlier this, this during the offseason. He was back. He practiced and stuff. Then they were like, oh, Nick Boyle's going to have a, a little, little cleanup surgery. A little, little team keep it clean surgery. Clean up some, some, some stuff. But so that then there was that was the little setback. But it's like okay, hey, we don't want the Ravens to rush him because we don't want any setbacks. See Ronnie Stanley. So yeah, we saw what happened with that. Um, but with, with Nick Boyle, his impact on the Ravens' running game will be big. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> because the Ravens, like, they've been running the ball. They still been running the ball, doing their thing. I think right now Browns are the number one rushing team. I don't know where Ravens are ranked, whatever, but Ravens have still been running the ball. So when Nick Boyle comes back, and especially when he gets his feet up under, when, when he gets, like, all the way back, back, like, the first game might be a little bit off, might be a little bit, but when Nick Boyle gets all the way back, back, then it's going to be a beautiful thing. So we got Bateman back. We got Boykin back, and now we getting Boyle back. Now, I remember in the video where we talked about getting Bateman back. I got a little excited, and I was I was thinking about Miles Boykin. I meant to say Boykin, but I accidentally said Boyle. But now, I guess it's true. So that mistake turned into something great. So shout out to that. Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Like Nick Boyle is no longer, we out.